show dogs what's up so I think I got my camera angle right I hope I do it's hot out here but this is my official first moto vlog hope you guys enjoy it and um let's see so first off just want to introduce myself um youtube name south dl 85 i live in sunny south florida you can get anything from rich people to ratchet people so my youtube channel i've had it for a few years um haven't done anything on it in a few in a while uh, i used to do some gun reviews you know firearms stuff like that um flashlights anything that had to do with tactical stuff tactical gear mm. It's been maybe about three years since I've done anything on my channel, except just watch videos. Man, I got into riding motorcycles and I really enjoy it. So I thought maybe, you know, go out and get a GoPro and start doing my own vlogs. So I've been riding for see since september october last year it's now end of july almost august so close to a year not quite a year yet you still consider me a noob that's fine i know i have a lot to learn but you know i'm not one of those people that think i know everything so i'm cool with it what i ride is a 2011 Honda CBR 600 RR I love this bike I started out on a 250 Kawasaki Ninja it was a friend's um, he's actually the one that taught me how to ride so you know I thank him for that because this is the best thing I've done in a long time what we did was one day he asked me if I wanted to ride and I, shit, I was scared I ain't even gonna lie, I told him I didn't want to, I didn't want to crash his bike. But he just showed me how to work everything. I already know how to drive stick shift. So he told me it was basically the same thing. Just, you know, the throttle control is the biggest thing on the bike. So I started riding his bike, started riding around. Decided I wanted to take the MSF course. And been doing it ever since. Most of my riding, I do commuting to work. So I live in South Florida, it's hot down here. <laughs> we pretty much ride all year long. As long as it's, you know, the weather is not crappy. Uh, a lot of people ride in summertime up north. Summertime sometimes is the time that we ride the less down here. So we'd be surprised because of the fact that it rains so much. Man, I wish I could lane split here, but it's not legal. It's good to live down here in year-round weather for bikes. I try to be careful as much as I can be when it comes to riding like this right here. Look, this man's thing was open. All that stuff it went flying out. What do I do? See, man, I work two jobs. So I have try to find all the time I can, when I can, to do this stuff. But like I said, I really want to do it. I like it. You know, if you like it, subscribe. Um, maybe one day I'll get big. See, as hot as it is out here, man, I still wear my jacket, uh, you know. A lot of people tell me I'm crazy because it's too hot, but I always tell them the same thing, man. I'd rather sweat than bleed. You know, if something happens, at least I'm protected. 
gloves <laughs> I do have gloves I just I ain't gonna lie I don't, I don't like wearing them as much just I don't know but whatever sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I always wear my jacket and my helmet and I don't ride without them another reason I wanted to start vlogging too is to get stuff out there um, get people to know you know what South Florida is like you know like we have you know, a couple moto vloggers from down here uh, two of the biggest ones that I know of is uh, Palm Beach Rider and Chief J you know I watch both of them I like their stuff you know, I, I know they're from the same area I am but you know that's it <laughs> from that I've seen pretty much but you know I would write I would like for more more bikers out here to start blogging and we just get this you know all of South Florida on the map you know more bad ideas he's also you know, he's a little ways from where I'm from where we're from but still South Florida so about motor vlogging obviously this is my first one anybody that has any pointers for me you know I'm always open to them As long as they're constructive criticism, you know. Like I said, positive vibes is what I'm about. If you want, you know, negativity stuff, I don't, I don't even pay attention to it, to be honest. Time to time, I go out and I'm breathing around the groups. Not nothing big, just a couple guys. But um, to be honest, I like to ride on my, by myself. I've always liked that because that way I don't have no. You know, I don't have to follow anybody. I don't have to do anything anybody does or, you know, if they start doing anything that I don't, I ain't trying to do, I don't have to, you know, cause I'm by myself. So I can go anywhere. If I decide I want to turn, I turn. If I don't want to, I don't. I was late to work one day. So I was speeding. I was getting there. I actually ended up getting there, on, you know, before on time but <laughs> when i got there i parked my bike before when i first lowered the bike actually let me tell you this part first when i first lowered the bike i didn't change the kickstand because the guys were saying you know i could probably change the kickstand but it'll work no problem with the original kickstand you know you just your bike would be more upright so be careful you know so every time i i kick the bike lower you know the kickstand up I got off the bike and then I kind of wiggled the bike to kind of set in place to make sure that it wouldn't fall <clears throat> but I was in such a hurry this day that I kicked the kickstand down but it didn't engage all the way because the bike is a little bit lowered and you have to kind of lean it to the right for it to gain, engage all the way and I just didn't do it just stupid <laughs> so when that happened the kickstand was able to hold the bike and not long enough for me to feel like if it was it was there I kicked my right foot off the bike and as soon as I did that the bike started to come down so I was already off balance and I'm trying to hold the bike and I just went down with it I was like oh shit I'm going down so I just kind of went with it and you know I pretty much kept it from falling hard you know it kind of just fell with me and I got a little scrape like down here, a small one and on the bar and on the clutch, but nothing major, a little bit on the mirror. Uh, on the fairing, I was able to, I see when Baker X Derrick said he, his bike fell on him, he, grabbed, he got some paint from the auto parts store and he sanded it down, did it, and it actually came out good, so then I did it and it worked. I mean, it looks good to me. Most people don't even can't even see it unless I point it out to them. So yeah, <laughs> I went down the adrenaline notch. I mean, I never dropped the bike before. So I, from watching videos, I thought the bike was gonna be stupid heavy to pick back up. But I don't know if it was my adrenaline or what. I got up, I picked the bike up like it was nothing. And just whoops, swooped it up, and. You know, I was pissed at myself for doing that. 
But after looking at the bike, by this point, I'm already late to work. I mean, I'm there, but I haven't gotten the clock in or anything, so I'm, I'm like, whatever. You know, and then I guess once, once the adrenaline went down, I started walking into my job, and then I noticed that my foot was hurting. I mean, I started like, it just seemed like, boom, adrenaline gone. I, I caught a limp real bad, and I was hurting like crazy. Yeah, okay, I could barely stand up. I had to, I had to leave work that day. <laughs> you know, and again, shout out to my friend, the one with the 250. I, I woke him up because he wasn't working that day. Woke him up, asked him to go get my car and bring the car to my job and take my bike home because I didn't even think I could hold the bike up if I came to a stop. That's how bad I was hurting. So he did it for me and you know, everything worked out. And I got, you know, I was in pain for a couple of days, but I learned my lesson. First thing I went to do is get the, get get that kickstand fixed. I haven't had no issues since. Um, <laughs> that was probably the worst thing that's happened to me on my bike so far. Hey, look, there's Broward Motorsports. That's actually where I bought my bike from. They were really cool. When I got it, the guy that took care of me. And then they're the ones that fixed my kickstand. So really good. Them, I like going to them for stuff. And also LOF Motorsports. It's a, it's another bike shop. Those are the, probably the two guys that I go to. For anything you know they, they really take care of their guys they you know the guys there are all pretty cool lof is a smaller shop um the owner he's i think he's awesome you know he's he's great great customer service very professional you know and he'll tell you what you need for your bike and uh, the price is never it's not bad i'll show you the bike a little bit I'll get off yeah, and then about the bike life community it's so awesome you know, most people they always wave I haven't had any issues with that everybody waves at me for the most part if they see me they say hey. you know, whether it's a cruiser sport bike it doesn't even matter and that, that's cool you know that's one of the things that I, I think is awesome about Just want to show you guys real quick before I cut the video. This here is the bike, uh, red and black Honda CBR 600 RR. It's awesome. Got the damn Moto GP exhaust on there. I actually installed that myself. It wasn't bad. I never knew, like I said, I haven't done work, worked on anything on bikes, but just watched a couple YouTube videos and kind of figured it out from there. That's the kickstand that I replaced. It's the old one, you know, obviously that's the one that made me fall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. No, I did. I do. Um, want to keep doing this, keep vlogging. Um, it seems, feels great to me. I love doing it and I don't know how often I'm going to make videos, you know, with work schedule and everything. It's pretty, please like, subscribe, comment, 
anything that you think and i'll see you guys later